Yeah, it's like, when, when you're buying lube, like, you can't just, like, get fucking Astroglide, slather it on your dingus, and then get a blowy like that, or just go straight for it. No, like, if you're doing oral, you want to get a flavored lube, so you gotta get, like, something with glycerin in it. I tried blueberry, cotton candy, watermelon. None of it tastes good. It just tastes like fucking really slimy sugar. Like, it's, it's fucking nasty. It's not, like, melted sugar. It's, like... It's, it's kind of got the consistency of toothpaste, honestly. Flavored lube is fucking disgusting. But where would we be without it? Where would we be without deep throat spray? I tried some of that shit. You want to know what it felt like? Bye, Brian. Right, one member has left the table. <laughs> <laughs> Like to continue Byron, you're deep getting some food to try. This has been Sex Night <laughs> with Olaf Olafsson. Jesus fucking Christ, gentlemen. Oh, God. My insides burn and I want to die, but welcome back to the Dungeons & Delinquents podcast. What day is it? <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know how to fucking read. All right, well... Olaf can't read. My name's Noah. You probably know that by now. Why don't you guys say your fucking names and shit. Burayam. Is that your character or are you? That, that's my character. You're missing a, a subtle J there, buddy. Yeah, BJ. Oh, sorry, BJ. We're all getting sick or some shit, a. so. Probably the last night said his fucking throat hurt and then I think it passed over through Discord. Because now mine that's hurts. That's how that works, yeah. <laughs> if you guys, if you no, seriously. give me the plague, I'm going to cut your balls off. I want you to know that. Well, you can just use some of your nubbing agent to numb up your throat before you I take mean, that fucking huge sickness dick. See, the shitty part <clears throat> is it doesn't work on me. Like, I just burn through the shit as soon as it hits my throat. It's like it's like fucking watermelon-flavored sepa call. Except <laughs> only the last five minutes. I can still probably fit a dingus in my mouth in five minutes. <laughs> Get the old <laughs> fucking slurp, slurp, skeet, skeet, he's not please. talking in character either, people. He's he's being for real right now. We haven't even started rolling or anything. You want to shoot the scouts at summer camp? <laughs> We're just shooting shit right now. I don't give a fuck. Boy Scouts teaches you stuff, man. Dude, the first time I shot archery in Boy Scouts, I uh, I Robin Hooded my second arrow. That's, that's pretty I badass. Wasn't. I know it was pretty badass, but I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about when I did it. So it was just a really a, a lot of confusion. The first time I went to scout camp, someone tried to shove a Coke bottle in my ass. You're talking about, about our experience. You're talking about archery. I'm talking about sucking the scoutmaster dick. Scoutmaster Kevin? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> scoutmaster Kevin. <clears throat> scoutmaster Kevin. I'm a scoutmaster Kevin. Why are you raising your hand? Did you have something you needed to say? No. <laughs> you just awkwardly raised your hand there. You ready to say a scout out or some shit? <laughs> you guys haven't fucking introduced well, but Spencer, I, say hi. This is episode five. No, it's... Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> My name is, four. is Olaf Olafsson. And I'm well, good at parties. We'll stop with the introductions after this one. Brian Jr. Okay, yeah, I uh, my name's My name's Rylock, and I just found out my dice pouch is good as a cock sleeve. Alright, moving on. <laughs> that, do you have a small cock? That's a, that's a pretty small... It's just flaccid yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for flaccid warmth. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I didn't. Probably not gonna say that cream is all over my mouth. It'll go in your mouth. Don't all worry. right, Jenny. We finished off by killing whatever yes, the fuck you his killed face was. You don't even remember his name. <laughs> it's I just remember it was a slave. <laughs> It was a slade. What color was the slade? Green. It was a green slade. You're correct. Yeah. But what was his name? Do his you guys name. retain anything? Do you take notes? I remember his... the other protagonist's name was Webda. Yeah, okay, you got Webda. Was it Croker? Or Frogger. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I literally named it so fucking cliche. <laughs> I'm Go sorry, ahead. I don't know how to fucking read. Well, you didn't need to read it because I fucking told you it with my voice box. What's a voice You're box? You're an asshole. You know what I do to assholes? <laughs> I lick them. I'm not going to dignify that with a fucking response. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> I, I don't want to consider that a win, but okay. No, let's just say you've silenced me via disturbance. Oh, we're about to start hearing wet slapping, aren't we? <laughs> I can edit that in. You want it? <laughs> You want to hear the sounds of wet slapping? 
I think we should just wait until you have that all ready before we start. <laughs> I already talked about Lil. Yeah. Uh, Brian's making dip, and he's slapping his butter with his knife right now. That's a spoon, dumbass. It's like <laughs> I'm sitting even, behind a DM screen. <laughs> I'm sitting behind a DM screen. Fuck off. I can't believe it's not butter. It's like this kid didn't even fucking read the Hortus and the Tear. No, I fucking didn't. You know what? Didn't. I fucking didn't. Okay. I watched the movie instead. I'll do it again. I played the game. you will fucking do it again. Gentlemen, Murder. What have, we, what have we been up to this week since we're just shooting shit right now? Uh, worrying about Noah. Why? You <laughs> fell off the face of the earth. I do that sometimes. I had midterms. I actually Ooh. failed one of my essays, and I'm very disappointed in myself. You failed an essay? I did. You're fucking amazing at writing, though. Still. I, like, even I can fail an essay. <clears> like, <throat> I just didn't develop it well enough. And so my professor was like, this is fucking horseshit. What's going on? And then he gave me an extension, because he's a cool dude. Screw I everyone's an offer. Everyone could fail an essay. Uh... Everyone's not. An I feel like the es- like failing an essay is more like posed on a, like the professor being too like harsh, almost. You but can, you're an English major, and you know we're you know you're you're what a senior now. So yeah, yeah I don't I'm still know. technically a junior. I'm like one credit hour away from being a senior. Oh, okay. The shitty thing about being an English major is I set myself with impossibly high standards. My seventy percent on an essay is most professors one hundred percent. But I want to give it 100% every time, and sometimes that feels fucking impossible. I just blew it. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a really, really weak-ass What part. a great segue. <laughs> you should be disappointed in yourself. That was a weak-ass I'm surprised part. you didn't come off the ground a little bit with that. <laughs> Your facial expression. Uh, after I thought that. I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you thought. Oh, I can it smell like. it. Oh, Jesus. You can smell it. I can't even smell it yet. I can smell There's these There's a nuts. certain vein in your head that distends whenever you have a big old fart. And I just realized that. <laughs> God damn it. You know, I really miss Joe. Joe Mama. Ah! I hate myself. Did you, did you really think that was going to work? No. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This actually... Whenever he's really done good. preparing this bountiful feast, we'll start... This actually layered Prepare very the good. Dip, Danny. This layered very good, very good and such. Why are you using a soup spoon? Because I want to. Did you see what Joe did? Ligma sure. balls. That, it's I so have s- no idea how you did it, but you used the wrong <laughs> formula and got the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like tape and CDs? Because I'm going to tape my dick to your forehead so you can see these nuts. Do you like dragons? These I'm going to drag nuts. these nuts across I your face. Got that just looks like dog food. Your dog food. What if dog, dog food is food. just chili? We just don't realize it. Oh, uh, wet slaps. Wet slaps. <laughs> That's what that pussy mean, sounds like. I didn't mean for this episode to become an ASMR session, gentlemen. Good pussy actually sounds like... Uh, Hello, Eric. I'm Martha Stewart. <laughs> Good pussy I'm actually, here to tell you that I love vagina. In my eyes, good pussy sounds like the air <laughs> going over the top of a Coke bottle. Like, it, if you guys want to find good pussy, you guys know how to find good pussy. Janice has taught you. Should, we, should Janice teach the listeners? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whatever you want to do. Hi, everybody. It's Grandma Janice <laughs> here, and I'm here to tell you how to find ripe-ass boy pussy. <laughs> You're a grandma now? I've always been your grandma. I thought you were her aunt. Yeah, <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh god, he's touching me. <laughs> she is touching you, excuse me. Anyway. She's touching you with her manly hands. <clears throat> when you're trying to find good boy pussy, there's two marks you can give it. The first mark is you gotta smell it. If that shit doesn't smell like the air comes out of the back of a PS4, that's not good boy pussy. What? They sprayed it with like axe or some shit. Good boy pussy smells like the air coming out of the back of a PS4. Pussy doesn't smell like Wait, flowers. Wait, are, are you insinuating that young males spray Axe body spray into their assholes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some guys do it. Have you not been in a gym locker room? Yeah, but I never so sprayed it in my ass. The second mark of good boy have- pussy is you gotta blow on it. If that shit doesn't make the sound of air going over the top of a Coke bottle, yo, that mournful, Ooh, that's not good boy pussy. I don't make the rules here. I just obey them. My name is Janice. I've been a smoker for 30 years. In that time, I've developed three great loves. Marlboro Reds, Jack Daniels, and Boy Pussy. 
Have you ever put cigarettes in your stoma? You bet your sweet ass I have. <laughs> My stoma looks like a triple <clears throat> victim. <laughs> Come here, my mutated grandmother! May fuck I correct your stoma? stoma? I fucking came up with the fuck my stoma thing. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> it's too iconic to not use. I know, I know, it's fucking amazing. You did a good thing, you did us a service. Oh, I didn't do you a service, I just like to laugh at it. Heat! I just think it's funny how you guys have adopted it so fucking fluently. Fuck my stoma. Fuck my fucking stoma right now! I can't do the voice right now. <laughs> That's yeah, your voice bitch. sounds like you're gonna die. I might actually lose my voice if I do anything hard today. Uh, well, fuck, dude. I mean hard like dick. Mm. You know what clears it's up? It's funny because you know, he's a dick. Good. See him a dick. I was gonna say deep throating, but yeah, you, you're both right. <laughs> I get my dick wet. I well, I mean, I got a sore throat from after, like right after I got a fucking bloody nose the other day. So I'm just oh, like, well, oh. fuck. Slurp, I saw slurp, a video uh, on Pornhub.com about someone that had a sore throat and semen cleared right up. There you go, guys. BJ is telling you to go get yourself a BJ. <clears throat> See, I, I really don't <laughs> like strep throat. Men or female. Yeah, just just pick up a homeless guy off the street. And yeah, just, I wouldn't go homeless. Well, I mean, he would definitely have, like... A lot of semen. Fa- yeah, I was going to say, like, the fastest nut rate. I don't like semen, because, like, one time I ate... A gallon of pineapple, and my semen still tastes the same. And then I ate a gallon of pineapple. Yeah, I then drank a gallon of semen, and my pineapple still tastes the same. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Boy, oh. <laughs> SpongeBob would be very displeased that you ate so many of his houses to achieve that fucking outcome. You're talking about like SpongeBob okay. has real estate in this economy. <clears throat> of course he does. He's got a fucking pineapple. You're a pineapple. Under the sea. You're a pineapple. <laughs> I hate semen because I hate the Navy. Please kill me. I gave your joke a two. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well, Brian is done making his dip. Yeah. So. Done making those wet slapping now. 12 minutes noises. in. Here we go. That's not bad. No, it's not. I've enjoyed. I, I, I will reiterate, I think we should just do a talking podcast too because. I think we have a lot to go off there. Well, you're welcome. That 12 minutes is now your talking podcast that you can just add to the channel. Oh, boy. I've decided that when I die, I want somebody to play the Super Mario theme, like the the first level theme, and then after I've been lowered into the ground to just start playing the... Uh-huh. Denim, denim, denim. Do we just start throwing pants at him? I want you to throw pants at me. I'm I'm actually just going to take my pants off for this episode. No, please don't. Take no, the pants podcast. Off. They can't even see it. That doesn't matter. Take your pants off for Daddy. Now he's got the belt off. Wow. <coughs> now drop them pants, boy. I can't tell if you guys are serious or not. Are we no. This? Stop. No. Are, you, are you wearing underwear? Yes. Okay, I don't care. We got one consent. As long Go as you it. promise not to show consent. me your dick. I guarantee you if you take off your pants, the the two people that are right there, his girlfriend's gonna walk in, she's gonna be like, <laughs> Alright, he's wearing underwear, everybody. They're, they're nice and red. You can leave your pants off if I'm you not really my want to pants do that. Off. <laughs> I was tempted. Listen, I'm all about comfort here, okay? If you're more comfortable that way, we can all sit in our fucking underwear for all I give a shit. I should have just worn my basketball shoes. I mean, I'm comfortable like this, but I'm just a really insecure human, so. Uh, let's, let's play some D&D. Yeah. All right, so I've been asking you guys some questions. Yeah. All right, mark right. it for everybody who listened through all that horse shit. 14 minutes, guys. 14 <laughs> minutes. 14. See, we could fill 15. Like, th- that was almost 15. We could easily fill a fucking hour. Whatever. Anyway. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. I'm glad you guys brought that up because there's going to be some tunnels today. Ooh. Through the mouth. All right, so, secret tunnel. So would one, of, would one of you like to tell me what you remember from... Our last Roger's century. fucking dead. Webda is tiny ass frog, and we're following his bitch ass to some fucking place. I murked a bitch. Is that all? Yes. All right. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Mute your phone. Please silence your ass. phone now, as do not get us a copyright strike from PewDiePie himself. Thank you. Fingers in his ass. Sorry, boss. 
asses in his fingers. All right, anyway. Uh, uh, fucking, okay, so yeah, you guys have just killed Frogger, right? Right? Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you're st- <clears throat> you stand above the corpse of the Slade. Something inside you beckons forth strength. That was the little thing telling you to level up. You guys are at five now, right? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're level five. I don't fucking know if they want to talk about it. That the room flooded with ambi- amphibian blood. The area seems to have changed drastically. The most significant of these changes is the sudden and sharp absence of the croaks and howls that go outside. So you guys are you guys are in the in the throne room. And a bunch of bodies and shit. Web is already left. <coughs> He ran off. Remember, he said, "Meet me, meet me at the west side of the." Meet me at the west. No, I can't. No, I can't do that voice, can I? <laughs> what, what was the voice I gave him? Nah. If you rip one more fucking bomb no in promises. this hour of the podcast, I don't know what I'm gonna do to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be something, though. I'm awesome. I'm good at parties. <laughs> <laughs> Banging a fucking soda can on his head. <laughs> Try to get it to <laughs> Starts crying. You know, the, the, the trick to that is having a metal plate in your head, right? I know. <laughs> I must have a good one. Alright, anyway, so yeah, you guys are, you guys are in the throne room. You guys can't are there keep... any books? There are no books, but you, but you could look around for stuff if you'd like. I want to look around for stuff. Okay, where are you going to look? Because, you know, you got the table that's broken. Shekels? There's, there's bo- <laughs> yes. Fancy. Shekel check, as you guys called it last year. But, the, the, but the, yeah, so there's the throne, there's the bigger chair up there, and then there's the broken table, and then there's the slate himself, and then the bully wolves and all the I want to look around the table. Oh, I want to look, look at the table. Okay, let's roll to see if you find something. I know the one on shekels. Fourteen, and then I'm proficient. Oh, sorry, I didn't roll one. So, so, I get a reroll. So, so, I got a seventeen for shekels. Like seventeen. <laughs> hey, cool. All right. So as you're like trying to look at the table and stuff, you you. You, you you stumble upon these the corpses and you find seven daggers on the corpses because the corpses were kind of on the table and like around the table but there's nothing on the table because it's broken <laughs> can I take the daggers <laughs> yeah you can take the daggers Ooh, I got a thir- they're just normal little daggers they're nothing special what's up I got a 13 on perception can what I- were you gonna look for what are you gonna look at I just want to look around all right you look around and uh, uh, you notice something shimmery under the throne. I want it. I'm going to grab you it. You want it? You, you find a, a small little pile of 275 gold pieces. Shuggles! <laughs> I tuck yeah. them into my uh, my banana leaf. In case you guys forgot, Olaf doesn't wear clothes. <laughs> he is the grease man. So your, your sack is <laughs> literally a sack. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can, like I have to make that connection. My my penis Cause. is inverted, so I can just like jam coins into the tip. So I'm gonna keep all those coins to myself and fuck the other two. Every time you go into rage mode, all the coins are gonna fly out. <laughs> Dude, Extra damage. It's, yeah, I was gonna say it's, yeah. fucking, it's a blunderbust. It's no, blunderbust of a dick. Olaf's dick is now a claymore. <laughs> I go into rage! The only problem is the coins are gonna come out all covered in smegma and shit, so if you're cool with that, you go for it. You're assuming that Olaf jacks off. Olaf strictly adheres to No Nut November. It's not November. Well, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be maybe even past November when this comes out. I just want to turn my dick into a claymore. Let me have Alright, right, whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. No, no, Alright, so November there's like. Did you say you were searching for shop too? No. Yeah. Well, which is it? <laughs> no. Why not? Okay, I'm looking around the room. I got a f- four seven. plus seven, eleven. Jesus, that's a that's a that's a big bonus. <laughs> Wait, well, you, as you wander about the room looking it, for something, you trip on the Slade corpse and realize that he's got a wooden staff, like like. Like a Drudic focus kind of a staff. Can I take the staff? You can take the staff. I'm gonna take the staff. Alright. That sounds like a euphemism. For what? 
Oh, take the staff. <gasps> Just like laying down pipe. Exactly. Oh my god, I'm learning. <laughs> Noah didn't know what laying down pipe was. Shut up. Until very recently. Go watch the Agony series if you want to learn hey. about that. Fuckers. Not watching my content. Agony's a nasty ass game. It looks like it was made out of like moist. Dude, food. I assure you, every everything moist. in that game is boob. I'm not even kidding. And what the fuck? So fucking yep. moist. That's because I censored all of them. Anyway. Oh, Rowlock has gone into hibernation mode, apparently. I'm going to the void. I'm gonna I thought you were already in the void. Void damage is the best damage. Here I'm not one, in boy. the void when I'm here, bitch. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Toes! toes. Oh, T-Pose toes. 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 Okay. Okay. Give them what they want. <laughs> Gotta give them You want my toes, bitch? Want. I'll give you my toes. Alright, are we just gonna stay in the throne or are we, are we, are we, uh... Well, I don't know, are you guys gonna fucking leave the room? I wanna leave the room. As you guys have all left the table and... Roblox <laughs> got his shoe off! Oh, God. Oh, shit! Spencer's about to suck some... Spencer's about to suck some toes, guys. I don't know how I feel about... Please record this He's doing it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Your feet fucking smell, man. Do it again, 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 do it again. Let's play D&D. &D. God damn it. <laughs> my parents are disappointed in me for a reason. Why do you think we call it delinquents? Dungeons and delinquents. Right. I just saw your entire ass crack, dude. <laughs> Not <laughs> God fucking it. It's been 20 minutes and there's no fucking progress whatsoever. God damn it. All Welcome right. to the delinquents part of Dungeons and Delinquents. Yeah, there hasn't been much of it in the past, like, two. <laughs> now we're fucking showing Jesus it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you guys are still in the throne <clears throat> room, but I can, I can assure you there's nothing else around that you can... I mean, you can look at bodies if you want and poke them, but... I want to poke a body. All right, let's roll to see if you poke a body. 18. Okay, instead of poking the body, you have sex with it. Alright, move it back. Sounds good. <laughs> ah, you tripped and your, dick, your fully erect penis just falls into a hole oh, in the mouth. Guys, we need to find a gnome. I want to inspect my stuff. I will explain later. You, uh, 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 what what kind of inspection? Him. What do you what, what, do what does it look you're like? You're going to hold him on his shoulders. Uh, uh, it hold looks like a normal stick, and at the very You'll top of it, there's like. <clears throat> Like a like a like a like a wooded knot, like from a tree, like a root. Did somebody say knot? Whoa! I thought it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not the like the one, one you think it is. I thought you meant boy. The I told you. If you see your pants one more time in this session, you have to suck his toes. Now. You have disadvantage on your next roll. Fuck. <laughs> not that that's gonna matter because you're not gonna hit anyway. I'm sure. Probably not. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, you guys are still in the fucking throne room. Let's leave the throne leave. room and go to where. <clears throat> Alright, BJ and Rollock, you step outside the great doors. A nightmare is invade. The town of all different races becomes absent of all but bullywood corpses and burning huts. Frogger truly destroyed the village through his own influence. What a bitch. You guys, you guys gonna go meet up with Webda? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, alright, alright. As you continue through the village, you find Webda on the back of his, his giant frog. It took you long enough! Flint Town is far from here! We must journey through some treacherous lands to reach it. I don't think stealth is our best bet, since the longer we stay on these roads, the more likely opportunity will strike for creatures. Okay. Olaf just silently nods and then dabs. All right. And gets <clears throat> on the frog. That's an ancient. Uh, before you're before you're able to jump onto the frog, uh, the large frog jumps fifty feet in front of you, slamming the earth very heavily. Like an earthquake style, and he's very far away from you now. Because that's how far the fucking frogs do that. I'll meet you at the crossroads! It's a day journey from here! When you get fuck when you get there, look for a fire and some hot meals! As Webb okay. says this is Why frogs, can't you just take us? <laughs> his frog speeds away, but you can still feel the, the ground weeping from the impact of the frog's large mass slamming down again and again. Just like me when I have sex. The worn dirt path, which is also you when you have sex, continues before you through the foggy swamp. <laughs> <of the house. laughs> I fucking killed you with that one, damn. Yeah, so there's a. <laughs> He's having a stroke! Somebody call the ambulance! 
Holy fuck, dude, you killed him! Quickly, someone call him Stinky! <laughs> hey. Yeah, so the dirt path. You can't jump on Webb's back, that'd be too fucking easy, you <coughs> bastards. Alrighty. <laughs> I wanna jump on How is there supposed to be adventure in this travel if there's. if you're on the back of a giant frog? Olaf is gonna start. Uh, Olaf's gonna take his trident, point in the direction of Webb and say <coughs> we should follow him. And while Olaf is walking, he's gonna start playing his bongos. All right. I'm gonna start strumming my guitar to go with them. All right, we got a musical quartet going here, or duo. I'm sorry, there's not four of you. I burned myself. <laughs> nice Brian job. is in the middle of consuming his dip. Dump ass. <laughs> he called you a dump ass. <laughs> you get the dip last. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for that shit to cool the fuck off. That thing is burning the air, which is hard to do. We're going to start playing a song. Um, yeah, sing me a song, guys. What are you guys singing? You can take the, you can take the, the, the deep parts because you have no voice. Yeah. Here's what we're going to play. Okay, all right. So, so, so your drum is the 8-bit. Yeah. And his guitar is what's singing. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Here, I can move this. You can just, uh, do a song. Okay, it's over here now. It's over here. It's over. Dude! Quit making this an ASMR video! Yeah, it's over here, it's over here. It's Fuck it! Yeah, fuck you. Put it down! <clears throat> Go what, fuck what, yourself. What song are we singing? They, they said they were singing Fingers in His Ass by Tupac. Alright. Or wait, was that X... 6x9 or whatever the fuck his name is. Because he's probably got some fingers in his ass right now. Probably. Since he's in prison and everything. <laughs> you fucking hurry up! I am listening. I am aware. Yeah, but you're still standing there. I'm I got serving dizzy. everyone. Did you just fart? <laughs> no, but I might again. It's like hurting fucking cats. God, you guys. This is me knowing I'll never lose my virginity. You're still a virgin? No. I was gonna say, I didn't know that. <laughs> this game isn't fun. It doesn't have any war crimes in it. I can I'm commit a war crime. Fun because I got Noah here. Let's Do you want me the... to have to add war crimes into this D and D campaign? Because oh, believe me, I could set it up to a way for. Oh yeah. God! We'll I just all want die. child murder. You just want child murder. <laughs> child murder. You should have been here last year whenever they talked about minors being oh, killed God. and then eaten. Not actual like children. It was physical like. I no, they were minors, like with an E. I don't know. I think we've <clears> been over this already. Where did he Man, go? Nice. We're waiting on B J Blaskowitz here. He's over here. shitting himself. Blowjob Blaskovich. Yeah. Minors with an O R. Did you shit yourself in there? I don't drink soda, fam. Give me one. I will take his beepus. I have stopped drinking the beepus. I'm sorry. Beepus. Are you guys beepus people or conk people? Beepus. Beepus, for sure. When I, I, I stopped drinking soda and I've lost 10 pounds, so I'm not going to drink soda anymore. But, yeah, I was, a, I was a beepus person. Coke's too fucking sweet, man. I like Coke because beepus tastes like semen. <laughs> I'll just take the water. I don't want to drink your shit, man. Jungle juice time? <gasps> Jungle juice! No, it's Tonka time. Tonka time. It's Tonka time? Is it Tonka time? <laughs> I think it's, it's Tonka, Tonka time. time. Okay, we're following Webb up. Alright, okay, so, uh, as you continue we're down the path... The wizard, the wonderful <laughs> wizard of shit. Yeah, as you, <clears throat> as you continue down the path, you hop over fallen trees caused by a certain frog. But something seems off. As you venture down the path, it splits. One trail goes into one portion of the forest, the other down into a tunnel-like path. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel. Through the mountain, <coughs> secret tunnel. Tunnel. Is I the, think we're all going through the tunnel. Is the consensus the tunnel? The consensus is the tunnel. Okay, fuck. Is I gotta, I gotta, I gotta skin Tonga myself a couple pages here. I think it's Tonga time. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. Uh. Oh, God. I got some ass stuff. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. This is when I'm playing my guitar too right now. It's secret tunnel. Yeah. 
secret tunnel. Okay. Right. I'm dying. dying. <coughs> all right. Okay. All we've, right. we've all been we've been we've distributed the, the snacks that BJ has graciously provided. I still vote I still vote for blowjobs, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. come on, BJ. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Anyway, about as you enter the darkness of the tunnel, snarls can be heard, and clanging against metal, and the sense of danger seeps into your minds. The walls are made of dirt, and there are small hooks spaced twenty-five feet apart from each other on either side of the Sexy. walls. It's very dark, and only BJ and Rollock can see with their dark vision. Dark vision! How long does that spell last? One hour. Alright, I hope that's enough time. You can now see in the dark, Olaf. Okay. What does it feel like? I can't see shit! <laughs> Alright, so this this dirt tunnel... Just kidding, eight hours. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that, you'll, that, that, that's plenty of time. Okay, so... You, as you as you enter this dirt tunnel, to the left and to the right are possible pathways. You hear snarling coming from the right. What's on the left? You don't hear anything. Can I see anything? Oh wait, yeah, you have dark vision. My bad. Um, okay, so down the right path you can definitely see a knoll, and down the left path, very far away from you, you also see a knoll. Right. To the, the right, to 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 the right. Alright, so you guys will have the drop on him. Does anyone want to start this? Olaf is raising his hand. Olaf, how would you like to start this? You have advantage because you a sneaky boy. I'm Actually, roll to see if you a sneaky boy. Yeah, okay. He's got a passive percentage of a 10, so you're good. Go for it. Alright, fuck it. So I start creeping up on him. I'm going to try to go for a coup, a coup de gras, just immediately kill him. Okay. All right. Well, you have advantage. Let's see what happens. I don't think the trident's going to be accurate enough to do this. Mm, that's up to you. So what I think Olaf is going to do is I think Olaf is going to break this knoll bull's neck. Okay. And if worse comes to work, she can just parry the teeth. Yeah, uh -huh, that hits. That's a 19. I mean, would you like to roll to see if you get a crit? Okay, that didn't happen, but, you know, you never know. A 19's still pretty good. Yeah, no, that that's fucking, yeah. So I'm just gonna snap his neck. Uh, roll... Well, mm -hmm, what's your strength? It's 18. Oh, fuck. Um... <clears throat> I'm trying to... I'm trying to remember what we roll for strength. Like, hand combat. I know what's strength. But I can't remember if it's a D6 or if it's a D8. It's a D4. Not when you're that strong. You fucking crazy bitch. Call it a D6 then. I'm just trying to immediately... Well, no, you got a 19. Yeah, okay, the Noel's the, the Noel's neck is snapped. It's dead. You you successfully murdered a Noel. Congratulations. He didn't even see it coming. Okay. I on the Noel. So... I'm gonna okay, so I've changed the way I do encounters and dungeons. So I'm going to get you to a point where there's another turn, okay? Mm-hmm. And then if you when you guys discover a room, if you guys want to go back to the room, I'll just have you guys like, go back to the room. You guys don't have to navigate like through the lefts and the rights and shit. Okay. So after you kill this knoll, you come up to another spot. In front of you, about ten feet, there's another turn to the right, and there's a turn <coughs> further down the hallway right as well. Or there's a turn to your left that goes into what it looks like there's a room right around the corner and then there's another hallway. So you have closer right, further right, or left. So we go left. Dab on it, let's go. <coughs> is, is there anything in the room that we're in? You're not in a room, you're still in the hallway. Oh. Room to the left. Room to the left, okay. So you, you walk up about 15 feet and you turn and you find a room that's full of dead corpses down in a pit. All different races, but distinguishably, they all have no clothes and are on their stomachs, nude. Oh. What is your question? Is there a gnome corpse in there? <clears throat> There's not a gnome corpse in there. Get your defiled fucking shit out of my life. Damn it. There's halflings, orcs. No, not orcs, I'm sorry. Halflings, elves, and humans. Ooh, somebody had a fun time. I don't know if I want to steal a halfling corpse. 
I was gonna say if there's gonna have to, maybe my sister's. You in might there. not be able to climb back up. You might need to. You might need to secure something. I could just eat it. So you don't want to put a rope down. You just want. To, you just want. To I actually it. do want to put a rope. Down. Okay. All right. All right. So you descend into the pit. You, you, you easily find. What do you want? A female or a male? It doesn't matter. Either way. All right. You find a, a male, a, a nude male halfling corpse. God only knows what you're about to do to it. I'm gonna pick up the halfling corpse. I'm gonna kind of like secure it to my waist somehow with like a piece of rope, and I'm gonna climb back up the rope, and I'm gonna go find that knoll. Okay. So so as you climb back up the rope. You, you, when you when you get over the threshold of, of the cliff of this little pit, you climb up and you realize that the, the rib cage of the halfling is pretty fucking gangrenous and like rotting. Just so you know. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna dump that halfling corpse. I was gonna make a marionette out of it because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> just like, well, I mean, it could just, it would just <laughs> reek. I'll just say yeah. that. We'll get a preserved corpse eventually. For yeah. now, though, I do kind of want to go inspect this room a little bit more. The pit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not going to be good. You, um, you find that it's still just naked bodies at the at the bottom of a corpse. At the some of the bottom at of the a bottom of a corpse at the bottom of a pit. There's corpses. They're naked. Some of them have gnaw bites on them now that you didn't see before. Hmm. I want to look down in the pit and just go, huh? Some people were having a fucking kinky time. A massive orgy that ended in death. Yes, I love it. <clears throat> Okay, so from the room you're in, you can either go back into the hallway you were just at, or go left into a different hallway. Left. Consensus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you go left, and you can either go backwards into the another turn that looks like it goes to the left behind you, or you can go straight, and to the left of the straight, there's another room. Other room. All right. Room. You go into the other room and it's a shit pit. Mm. Like literal, actual shit mm. in a pit. <clears throat> Olaf stares. It <laughs> just shakes his head. No. No, you don't want to. You don't do anything with that. I don't want to fuck with the shit pit. <laughs> okay. I've seen enough of these in the scouts. All right. <laughs> So, to the left, you can definitely see the outline of two knolls. Or you could go back, it's pretty much like straight back over to where like the other room was. Or you could go right and go down the other hallway. If this is too confusing, please let me know. I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm gonna That's take, the point. I'm going to take my trident out, point at one of the knolls, and I'm going to poke BJ and Ralak and say that I'm going to kill one of them and that you guys should handle the other one. Let's do this shit. Who, who is the other person handling the... And how are we doing this? I want to go up there and I'm going to... I'm going <coughs> to... Stab him. I won't even use magic to stab him. Yeah, I want to... I want to I wanna go stabby stab right in the, like... Right in the back of the neck. Back of the neck, okay. I'm going to throw my trident and try to pin the other one to the wall. Okay. Um, roll to see if you gentlemen hit. You have advantage. You don't have advantage. You're Crit. Throwing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Crit. Okay, gentlemen. Jesus Christ. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna describe this in a way that is uh, <coughs> fabled. So Rolok, you know that he's gonna throw Olaf's gonna throw his trident. So you grab a hold of the hilt, and with his tremendous strength, he <laughs> yeets the trident. Right? You drop off of it almost immediately and plunge your sword into the into the the knoll on the left, right right where you wanted, right in the neck, and his. Nearly headless, I'll just say that. And the other trident goes through, not like stops, through the other gnoll's head. They both drop to the floor dead. <coughs> so the other one's like Herschel from The Walking Dead. Exactly. <laughs> I want to take my sword out now and just, like, taking it out of it, just go, bump. <laughs> Dab. Okay, so you guys are, like, in a larger, like, common area right now. So to the right, like, the direct right is another room. To, like, a slanted right, there's a hallway. 
To your left, there's a hallway. You can go back the way you came, or there's a much larger room with chanting coming from it, kind of like to your like diagonal left. I think we should go to the small room and then big room. Okay. As you approach the smaller room, there are two more knolls. Mm-hmm. You want to try that again? He's got to retrieve his trident. I pick it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. I want to try again, too. Okay, let's see. Gentlemen, you had. Are you throwing it again? Okay, let's I've see what happens. So, far. so do I have advantage? You have advantage here. Oh, yeah. 13. That's going to be an 18. Okay. And we're going with the 13. Okay. 18, um, and we're going to go with it. <laughs> aren't you throwing it? Yeah, I just rolled above a 20, so. Okay. That'd be a you guys try to perfect the same move like a combo mm-hmm. in a fucking fighting game. Ralak grabs a hold of Olaf's Triton once again and you yeet it. It definitely slams into the back of the Knoll's head. And it's dead. But whenever Ralak jumps off to stab his Knoll, he stabs it, but it's still breathing. You kind of missed. You kind of got it like on the upper mm-hmm. shoulder. So roll your damage just so I can have like an idea. Um, 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 I thought you were breaking your tooth for a second. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt because you had force behind it. So let's just say you had you the max damage. Alright, so yeah, okay. That was a one, everybody. <laughs> okay, so this Noel is almost... He's, he's, he's got the drop on him and you guys have another action on him, but he, he looks like he's about to squeal. I say no. And produce flame on his face. <laughs> Roll your damage. We'll just assume you hit because he's knocked from with Brawlock pretty much on his back. Okay. I gotta figure out what... Okay, that's uh, two D8s. Fuck, you don't kill him. It's, uh, seven, uh, fourteen. Guys, cut right on the money! You I snuff out his roll. eternal flame with your flame. He dies. Woo! Uh, I wanna do it again, just... Don't. Oh, I thought you were going to stab him again. <laughs> Guys, Kanye dropped a new album. No way. There's wow. fingers in his ass. All right. So, cool. in this room, you have these two dead bodies, <laughs> as well as what appears to be a weapon stash. Not, like, stashed neatly, like in a pile. That, so you can't really distinguish what's in the stash. But there's, you can tell there's a large amount of crude and simple weapons. I want to look through the weapons. All right, what are you looking for? Weapons. What kind of weapons? A simple or common kind of weapon. If you have coin, because you have wear. You find a... Okay, I'm just going to list off a comp. Roll a dice to see what you find. <clears throat> a d6? No. A 20. 18. You find a good old short sword. That's a common crude weapon. Okay. All right, he's taking the short sword. It awkwardly doesn't have a hilt, though. Okay. Okay. Just, just so you know, <laughs> trying to give you more like flavor into your. <laughs> what what damage does it do, though? I think that's a D six. I'll call it a D six. While they're looting, Olaf is gonna just scout around a little bit. Okay. I want to uh, join him and scout around. Okay, so you guys have. Okay, so from the room you're, you were in, you walk outside the room. To your right, you can definitely see a knoll far away with your dark vision. Forward, there's a hallway that seems like it cuts through. And then forward and to the right, there's a room that you can hear chanting coming out of. And then you guys can go back the way you came from the left. I'm going to go sneak into the room that has chanting in it. Okay. I'll go too. I'll join. <laughs> Everyone saw the worried look on my face, and you're all like, hmm. Sneak and make it good. Bardic inspiration may have. Just kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> a critical failure. All right. So as you as you're walking, <coughs> oh, I get a bone. I don't like that. Shoot out. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. So you. <laughs> I love how you predicted what I was going to say. All right, as you're walking and you you just get around the corner of this room, you see, like, a knoll sacrificing a halfling woman, and she's still alive, and as she sinks the claw... 
as he sinks his claws down into the into the woman. You get a massive erection and the coins shoot out all over the ground. <laughs> there are three gnolls snarling at you now. One that appears to be the alpha of the pack, and one that seems the one that's sacrificing, who seems very off. He's got red glowing eyes. You guys know what gnolls look like, right? They're like wolf humanoids. But like hyena people. Yeah, essentially. Okay. They're fucked up. Gnolls yeah. are annoying as shit. Well, I just want to point out that Olaf isn't getting an erection at seeing a woman die. Olaf is getting an erection because he's angry. His coins are all over the ground. His party members now know that he hides coins in his ball sack. He's a little pissed <laughs> off. Oh yeah, and there's 275 gold scattered about the fucking... Are we rolling initiative? I suppose. <laughs> I got a seven. I got a four. I got a three. <laughs> All right, guys. One second while I set this up. Someone talk about something while I set this up. Well, um, you, shortcut. Would you guys like to know how Olaf stores coins in his dick? Yeah. One word, my friend. Foreskin. So now we know uh, Olaf is not circumcised. You guys are just getting a lot of descriptions of, like, Olaf's dick, but I've never, like, talked about what color Olaf's hair is. Or his skin color. What's oh, your initiative? I was say the color of his Seven. dick, and I was be like, Seven. oh, no. Four. Brawl, what was yours? Three. Uh, yeah, three. Wow, okay. Olaf no, is blonde. Gosh. Well, what it's going to be enemy turn than you guys. <laughs> Olaf plus Riley blonde. equals Spencer. But Olaf's pubes are red. You Like, how red? Like bright copper red. Mm. They've been stained with I don't know about you, but that gets me off. Anyway. Olaf has teabagged many people. I hope you guys live. Okay, here we go. Hey. <coughs> By the way, this room is like bricky and uh, like there's the there's the stone tablet thing that the halfling is dying on, which is she's definitely dead at this point. She's been bleeding out. Uh what the fuck was that face? I made it. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to distinguish. So I'm just going to assume you guys are all standing in the doorway, like side to side. <laughs> or do yeah. you want to be in a line? I say line. Okay, line. You're in front because you, you shot the coins all over <clears throat> the fucking place. So, the, <laughs> the, the odd looking one with the red eyes sees you first and he jumps over the table to come at you. Uh, how many attacks does he make? Oh, shit. Okay, he misses you with his bite. What's your AC? 16. Okay, he misses you with his claws, but he hits you with another one of his claws, so... How much am I taking? I'm assuming... I am doing that right now. Wait a minute. Sorry. Not a D8. D6. Ah! Fuck! You take five damage from the claws. They hurt. They sting. He got you right on the right shoulder. It's your bad shoulder now. (coughs) The one that looks like the alpha is coming straight for you as well because you're in the front. He definitely hits you. Um, shit. He attacks you with his glaive. Where the fuck is my D10? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you take just three damage. Okay. I can deal with this. He's pissed. And then the three gnolls attack in unison, and they all attack each of you separately. So one's coming to you. First one's to Spencer. Definitely misses with his spear. One to you. Definitely misses with his spear. Your AC's 13, right? Yes. Okay, yep, he misses. Okay! <coughs> you guys are lucky. I've been rolling like shit. I could have totally killed you. But now it's your turn. You guys can go in any order since you, um, since basically uh-huh. they'll go and then you go. I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. So there's, what, the, the encounter or the fart? The fart. <laughs> All right. Isn't Olaf. that fart technically its own encounter? No. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Olaf is pissed, so Olaf is going to rage. Okay, Olaf rages with his already erect peen. Yeah, like, before the peen was like a chub. (laughs) Now it's a... It was just enough to get the force behind the jangly coins. I wouldn't call it like a chub. I'd actually call it more like... It's a standard erection. Now it's a full-on fucking meat hammer. Okay. It can be used as a club. Of course it can. It's a full-on meat hammer. (laughs) What do you want to do with your meat club? Olaf is not going to do that with his meat club. Olaf's got to try it for this reason. Olaf is going to aim for the uh, the alpha of the pack and try to go for his heart. Is he armored in any sort of way? He's got hide. 
I'm going to try to go for his heart, just like straightforward. Let's see if you hit. That's going to be that works. a 21. All right, let's roll your damage, see what you do to him. Where is my d6? That's going to be a 7. All right, he takes 6 Actually, do damage. I have the, uh, do I have my strength bonus to that too, or is it just... Yeah, a, since you're raging, right? Oh yeah, it's plus 2 damage, so it's going to actually be a 9. All right, you, you deal 9 damage to this, this, the, the alpha of the pack. How's he looking? He looks pretty fucking healthy still. Even though you stabbed him pretty good. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, whoever wants to go next? I Only... touch myself and use bark skin. I now have an AC of 17. Okay, AC of 17 with bark skin. That only takes up one action, right? So you can use another action if you'd like. However, if you move, that'll be it. Mm-hmm. How far away are they? Uh, they're pretty far. They're like 10 feet. Well, they're all like gathered around There's you one at this like point. right on us. On each of us. Basically, you guys are stand. There, okay, so there's one directly on you. There's one directly on Rawlock. You guys are standing in the or- in the doorway. Uh, Olaf is the the one in front, and the three of them are on him. And then there, you two are standing like by his like like behind him almost, but like kind of diagonally from him. And you got one on each of you. I'm going to attempt to burn off the face of the one that's right in front of me. Let's see if you hit. <clears throat> Will a crit do? Um, maybe. A nat crit. Yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. What, what will a twenty do? <laughs> Does a thirty-two hit? Don't touch my face like. Okay, that. so do I add this spell attack bonus after I double? Correct. Yeah. No. Just double all of it. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Thirty-six. Yeah, it's dead. You lit. <laughs> you lit its entire hide on fire. <clears throat> It squeals and howls it beckons before it falls to the ground, still burning from your touch. The knoll that was directly on you is now dead. I want to use dissonant whispers on the one that's right on me. Remind me what that does. It's a wisdom save where it's 3d6 on hit or half on save. And if it is a hit, they also are afraid. Wait, what's your save? 15. And it's charisma. It is wisdom for. Oh, it's wisdom oh. for their. Yeah, then he resists. Sorry. Okay, so it'd be ah. half damage. Okay. <clears throat> Roll the damage, friend. Can I steal a d6? Yeah. BJ is actually just a euphemism for that's parts that come out of your penis because that's, that's all a good he does. Point. I'm stupid. I'm at that point of day already. That's 10, 14, 12. 21, half of that is a number. <clears throat> half of 21? Yeah. Round down. Like 10. 10. And I'm going to say this. Going to eat out your asshole. What the fuck? <laughs> and that's the Noel's response. <laughs> Except he says it in Noel. <laughs> he backs up. <laughs> he, he speedily backs up from you, but he's not afraid. And he takes 10 <laughs> damage, and he's he looks pretty fucking hurt. All right. With all of you, with all of you, with all of you, you wankers done, the the odd one is going to attack you again, Olaf. And what's your AC again? I'm sorry. 16. Olaf might have to put on pants. Olaf might have to put on pants. <laughs> Olaf is just going to get assless chaps. <laughs> I'm actually gonna blow he your fucking minds. He bites down on you pretty <clears throat> fucking hard. I'm gonna blow your minds right now. You take four damage. And All chaps. Give me a Constitution save. Are assless. Okay, that's gonna yeah, be, that's 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 gonna be that's a fucking crit. fine. I'm rolling just fucking fire today. Okay, so yeah, you take four damage, and he also gets. He's gonna try to attack you with his claws too. He definitely misses the first time. Definitely hits you the second time. You take. Uh, a lot's looking a little bit rough here, guys. You take an additional three damage from his claw strike. The alpha of the pack is pissed off that Brian burned the face of one of his sons. And he definitely misses you with his glaive, but he goes at it again. And he misses again. Fuck. Yeah, because you're AC 17 now, right? Yeah, he's just fucking clanging up against your bark, man. It ain't happening. <laughs> the knoll that you tried to <laughs> fucking incite violence to is pissed off. Rawlock, he hits you with his spear. I forgot to factor in my raging damage resistance. 
Uh, well, actually, my rage. He hits you so for funny. five damage with his spear, and he stabs you right in the spleen with, <coughs> like he knew where it was. The, the knoll that 55. is also on you, Olaf, is striking out against you, but he totally fucking misses. Grease. It is now your turn to act, gentlemen. Olaf is very angry. Yeah, I the, bet. The knoll, the shit kicked out of you. The knoll that just kicked the shit out of him is a dead motherfucker. Okay. Olaf is going to charge forward, impale him with the trident, and try to like... Just the normal knoll, the alpha knoll, or the the, the weird, the one that's weird? The one that's weird. Okay. Isn't the one that, that's weird the one that attacked me? They, well, you had three that attacked you that yeah. turn. I want to take out the one that's weird. Okay. So, I want to kind of like wrestle it to the ground. You want to try to like grapple it? No, I want to stab with the trident and shove it to the ground. Okay, well... Or if, otherwise, yeah, I'll just I'll just go for stabbing you're, it. You're honestly, still, well, I mean, you can, but your strengths are pretty equal. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna go for stabbing it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna aim for the face, okay. or for the throat, okay. just All anywhere right. vital. That's not gonna hit. I take it. Well, what, what's your bonus That's for that? That's gonna be a ten. That will not do, my friend. You miss the knoll, or he ducks out of the way Actually. like something diving into it. <laughs> Well, it's actually a 12, but still. I'm going to take it. Still a doesn't do it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Fuck. You're close, though. <clears throat> All right. BJ. Kill you me. You're the one that acted next. It's your turn. Danny. I go for the commander. How far away is he? Why you keep asking me this? He's like five feet from you guys. Poison spray. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. You only have pretty low ACs, so. 11. That is one action. Do I get another one? Yeah, you get another action. I try again. Hey, yes. 20. Not Nat. Oh, I was going to say crit it like Nat? <coughs> Alright, yeah, that one hits him. 2 D12s. 12s, fuck. 23. Fuck. He backs up in agony from what he could only... D- you tried to spray him with poison, but instead you went into the clo- like the like the cologne department of a Macy's and found the worst smelling shit in, in the world and filled your spo- their poison spray powder with it. Yes. So, so yeah, he's... He's not looking too hot. Rawlock. I want a vicious mockery now. The one that attacked me. Okay, okay, okay. Thirteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. No. <laughs> Hit me with the damage, fam. <laughs> Eleven damage. <clears throat> <laughs> what do you say to him? I just want to look at him and go, I want to look down at where he stabbed me. And then look back up at him and go, revolting. <laughs> he falls to the knee, to his knees, dead. <laughs> he can't take it. Revolting. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> like from the uh, terminal montage video, where the uh, Tapu Lele attacks him. And he's like, "Do your worst." Attacks him. And he just goes, <laughs> revolting. <laughs> yeah, that's revolting right there. <laughs> I really hope my mic can pick up your shit. It definitely can. You're gonna go through and be editing this and just like re- going through it, and you're just gonna hear him shitting like most you, of the time. You do realize your mic picks you up from like downstairs of your house. Yeah. So this could definitely pick up my ass. Because. <laughs> I could definitely pick up my ass. I want that framed on my wall. I could definitely pick up my ass. You heard that, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> okay, so there are three gnolls left. Rallock and BJ have both extinguished the flames within their gnolls. All three of them left are on Olaf. In their gnolls? No! Don't say that shit. Huh? Extinguish the flames within their gnolls. Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, your distinguished look is yes. That's exactly what I was going for, buddy. Fuck. The chief is going to try to attack you again, Olaf. He missed his first attack, but he's going to try to glaive you again. He definitely missed the second time, because your AC is more than 14, right? <coughs> okay. Commander didn't hit it. Or Alpha, whatever the fuck you want to call him. The secondary Null, though, the regular Null is going to try to get you again. He definitely misses his attack. And BJ. 
The one that Spencer, or I'm sorry, Olaf tried to stab in the face, the one that's off and has the red eyes, is going to try to get you. Okay. He hits you with his bite. I need you to take... He had a, a 24. So, uh-huh. he hits you with his bite. I need you to make a constitution save. You have to succeed over 12. How about a 4? Mm. Are you immune to poison? I don't know. Are you at that point yet? I don't know. I didn't really take note. Well, then you're going to take a lot of damage, buddy. Hmm. You take 14 damage from fucking the bite. Meh. Don't you man me. He's still got two more attacks. Don't say man. He's just going to get meaner. Oh, that was made on 29. I thought that was man. It's not man. <laughs> okay, he misses you with his claw strike. And he misses you with, the other, with his other claw strike. That could have been way worse. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The gnolls have went. It is your turn, friends. Olaf. I'm going to stab the weird one. <clears throat> okay. Olaf is going to end this motherfucker's life. Olaf's going to use his second rage for the day. And he's just going to fucking give it to him. Would your first one not still be active? Uh, no, it only goes for two turns. Ah. Which is doom. Um, Olaf is going to go and fuck up the fuck up the weird one. He really wants to fuck it up, though. So Okay, all right, let's see. Let's I see. need to scream something. I'm seeing if I, if I hit it. God damn it. Ugh. That's going to be a 12. That will not cut it, my friend. I know. Exactly what I rolled the last time. But you didn't move, and attacking's an action, so would you technically get a second action? No. I didn't think so. Okay. They gave me a second one. Well, that's because you're casting spells. Spells only take one action, and you're not moving. True. So, anyway, gentlemen, your turn. Okay, so the one that attacked me, the one with the red eyes, Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to burn him. Okay, well, that's good, because his face is right up on you. He bit your arm. I'm going to try to burn him. Big same. 13. I try again. Okay. Salsa. 19. Much better. <clears throat> 13. Damage? Yes. Okay. You light his ass on fire enough to get him off you, but he's still fucking standing strong. Rock. You have a knoll, the alpha, and the weird one. The weird one? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the weird one is the one Olaf and BG are trying to take care of right now. I want to use dissonant whispers on it. On the weird one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, 15? Yes. I think he's pretty wise. Not wise enough. Yes. A. <clears throat> oh, I'm stealing the D6. Okay. Nineteen. Damage? Yes. And the weird one? Yeah, and I just want to look at him and go, it's for real estate. He's very scared of you. (laughs) Um, What is real estate? (laughs) Excuse me while I do math in my head. Okay. So the the fang backs up immediately. His face is on fire. You've said some weird shit to him. He's backing up to the altar. Like, he's fucking freaked out. He doesn't want to come anywhere near Rawlock. And I'm going to make his entire turn just dashing back to the altar. So he's 30 feet away from you now. Uh, (laughs) Olaf, <clears throat> the alpha attacks you and misses his glaive, but he tries again, and he gets a critical oof and accidentally slices his friend instead, who's, like, pretty much right next to him anyway. Hi! Uh, he, the, the, the other null takes... Oh, I think it's like a fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Seven damage from the fucking... Yeah. The other null's kind of pissed off that his, his alpha just slashed him across the back with a glaive. But he uses that to fuel him. And and, and with that, the, the Alpha Null has somehow incited <coughs> Rampage into this other Null. So, he's get, he gets a bonus action. He's going to try to attack you twice. So here he goes with his spear. 17 definitely hits, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so his spear, he's only one-handing it, so it's fine. <laughs> you take three damage, but he's going to try to stab you again. He definitely didn't hit you the second time. Cool. Take three damage. Alright, so you got the alpha, the weird one, and the regular null still standing. The weird one is back at the altar. <laughs> Olaf, it is your turn with your concerned look of fear. 
<laughs> oh god, that is a concerning thing. <laughs> oh, he's missed too many fucking swings. Oh, he's going to two-hand the trident and really drive that fucker home. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> That's a critical oof. You stab your own foot. How much damage do I take? Three damage. Hey. You stabbed an artery. Olaf is just fucking pissed. <laughs> BJ, Olaf does right have on. damage resistance, though, so that gets halved. Okay, you take 1.5 damage. I mean, it's one damage. Because it's I know, I'm fucking <clears throat> with you. BJ. Yay for raging. Weird one. Thorn whip. Okay, he's, he's within your range. Mm-hmm. Heal Olaf, please. 15. Wait, 16. No, it doesn't matter. 15 would have done it. Okay. 14. 14 damage! You whip him right across the fucking face! I'd do it again. Uh, one second while I do math. Go ahead and roll. Nope. 10. Nope. He, he, he wises up with the second attack. And he moves one foot back. Darn it. Right out of reach. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. He learned and he just stepped one step backwards. Rock, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to use Cure Wounds. <clears throat> On uh, Olaf. Okay. How much do you heal him for? Eight. Plus whatever your thing is. Eight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Get you some eight health, boy. Eight health, boy. Thank you. And I just want to use my other action to take I a reaction. Appreciate you. Oh, you want? Okay. I oh my did. god! A reaction! Holy I shit! Smell you guys haven't had a reaction in all of the fucking time I've <clears throat> played with you. What's a reaction? I got smart. It's, have you ever played XCOM? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, uh, so in XCOM it's called an Overwatch. Basically, if an enemy tries to strike you or like move against you or move like past your like field of, you know, play, like they're close enough to you, you can you can try to attack them or, you know, have an action. It's basically Ooh. reserving your action for an enemy turn. Oh. Cool. I use the big brain there. Or, I forgot that was a thing. if you'd like my DM panel things definition, ready, prepare an action in advance. Cool. Anyway, okay, so... Noel's on him, Alpha's on him, Fang's back. Fang's still scared, but this is the last turn of that, so I'm just going to have him kind of like... He's going to ready up too. Just so he's not moving, because he's still frightened. He's a frightened boy. Uh, the alpha leader, though, is still wanting to glaive Mr. Olaf into a cinnamon roll, so he crits you. Fuck. Um, where's his fucking fuck? Where's his... his Olaf dies. Where's his fucking man? You know how you have to like cut a flag into strips when you burn it? That's kind of what you gotta do to Olaf. You have to burn his penis last. You take. Just are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you take just eight damage from his fucking crit, hey, but he still hits me. Swings at you again. <laughs> and that completely undid the healing that Ralok just gave. Uh, you. Here, fucking... let me just give you four temporary hit points. Thanks, Dad. Ha ah, ha ha! Jokes from last year. Ha ah, ha ha! Uh, uh, the the, the Noel. The Noel is still pissed yeah. off at you, my Ooh. friend. He <clears throat> definitely misses. All right, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh, that was it? Yeah, well, the, okay. the Fang's scared, but he's ready. Okay. Uh, Excuse me. That was, that how was many there. is on Olaf? Two now. Right. You have a regular Noel, who's looking pretty beat up. You got the Alpha, who's looking really beat up. And you have the Fang, who also looks like he's pretty fucking battered. Oh, I just called him a Fang. I'm sorry. The The weird-looking one is pretty <laughs> battered up. What? Yes? You have a question? Olaf wants to rage. Olaf rages. That's my nice. last rage of the day. I want to fucking stab the alpha. You want to stab the alpha? That's all I want. Let's 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 see what happens, my friend. Pray for me. Praying. Stab, baby. Fuck me. You know what happens? You said you were rolling really good and you didn't knock on wood. Fuck ass. Oof. That's a four. That well, does not it's a cut ten. It. It's that a ten. That still does not cut it. Ah. Uh? You miss your strike. You got invigorated, like you got hyped and everything. You were you were slamming your trident on the ground and everything, and then you go for the stab, and he just kind of sidesteps you. 
else been rolling like shit now? BJ! I'm going to... Fuck a dog in the ass? I want to fuck a dog in the ass, yeah. I'm going to try to produce flame on the, uh, the alpha. Okay, let's see what happens. 20, not nat. Oh, uh, yep, that works. <clears throat> Sixteen damage. Ooh. You can tell he's a he's within an inch of his life. He's he's pretty fucking like he's almost on his knees. He's 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 getting there. He's 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 on fire. Poison spray on him now. Alright, let's see if your fucking perfume from Macy's works. Nineteen. Yes. That's not adding anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna describe what I do if this does enough damage. I oh, know. Just, 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 just let describe me know. what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go up behind him, put the poison right over his mouth, and go to sleep. 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 He does as you wish as he falls to the ground. A very dead hyena. Uh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. The only ones left in the room are on, are the regular Null and the one that I accidentally described <clears> as Fang. <laughs> Can I use my both my actions as like the results of one vicious mockery? Describe what you mean. So like my character does one thing as a mock, but it hits both of them. But use that uses like both my actions. Mm-hmm. Can I do that on both of them? Like one hit each? Yeah. Yeah. I want to do that. Okay. All right. So the Knoll's first. 15? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I have to keep asking. That's fine. All right. Knoll failed. The one I accidentally described as Fang also failed. Wait. Yeah, he failed because he doesn't have a wisdom bonus. And can I just roll damage once or you want me to roll it twice? If you want to do that, you can. I would prefer you roll separately. Okay. So the first one is a whole nine damage. <clears throat> the other one is a whole 10 damage. Okay. And I just want to go... 9 and 10, Where? Do, how do you want to distribute that? Like, which one gets uh, which? <clears throat> 9 to the regular null, okay. and 10 to the weird one. And I just want to go, I want to fuck a dog in the ass. And they get very frightened because they are <laughs> of canine nature. I want to fuck a dog in the ass. ass. They both are, are stunned with this realization, and they start Couldn't chattering find the dog. Okay, so... Fang stunned, no stunned. Your guys' turn again. Olaf. <laughs> Don't make it so obvious he's on his phone, Brian. <laughs> Olaf. <laughs> Olaf has to look at his phone because Olaf can't fucking focus and stay awake at the same time. Olaf's shitty neighbors kept him up at four in the goddamn morning. Yeah. Finally. Told you you needed to drop that one. Who are you hitting? <laughs> We're going for the alpha. Alpha's dead, fam. Oh, shit. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> well, there's all the fang. Back up the arm. We're going to go for the fang, then. Yeah. Okay, let's roll your damage. <coughs> we're going to two-hand this bitch, so we're going to go for a d8. Two-handing's a d10, isn't it? It's a number, that's for sure. It's a number. Well, when you use versatile on a longsword, it's a d10. This is a trident. I'm just going to throw the trident and just get it over with. So we get a d6 oh. plus four. Okay. Hi. Hiya. 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 Seven. That's gonna be a seven. Your trident yeah. is impaled in his torso, but he still stands. Hiya! I wish I had so a shocking grasp. Olaf is hearing the voices of his ancestors. Olaf. <laughs> Never give up. It's your duck orgy. I'm not <laughs> fucking. I think I named an episode that because that's how you started it. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so since he's 31 feet away. Well, right. 32 now, you got a trident impaled into him. Okay, I move up 15 feet and use Thorn Whip. Alright. Yeah, no. It was Care to give us a number? It was an 8. Four okay, yeah. plus 8. You whipped his ankle, but it didn't do anything. <clears throat> Your turn. The other knoll. The, the one that's still kind of near us. I want to Vicious Mockery him again. I want more, actually. Nope. You guys ever, like... Go for it. Yeah, hey. Women's periods sync up with our close proximity to each other. Why is this a thought you're having in the middle of battle? I don't know. <laughs> but, like, hear me out. Does one of these women have an alpha coochie? Eleven damage. <laughs> <laughs> the, null doesn't, the null doesn't even 
even acknowledge you. He just acknowledges Olaf's weird ass thought as he hurled his trident and <laughs> falls to the ground. Because he didn't even realize that you were mocking him, he just died. <laughs> but yeah, you killed him, good job. And I want to use my other action to use Vicious Mockery on the other one. Yeah. You got a three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to this one? Uh, nine damage, and I just want to do the whole revolting again. He falls to the ground. <laughs> Dead. <clears throat> He's a dead boy. Hey, boy, if you keep farting in my <laughs> fucking podcast, I swear to God, I'll kick your fucking ass. Okay, now it's all right. I just want to dab. All right, congratulations. You've successfully cleared the altarish room. They're all dead. Congratulations. Haha, you have died. Mm-hmm. I want to search the altar. Yeah. You search the altar and you find nothing but halfling blood. And also a, a cool looking dagger, but it's not cool in like the it's golden shit. It's cool because it looks like it's constructed out of chicken feather, like the hilt. If that makes any fucking sense, that was out of the depths of my mind's conscious. <laughs> I just want to look at it and nod my head and go, okay, okay. You guys want to? You guys want to search the bodies? What are we doing? What are we, what are we, what are we? I'm Olaf gonna wants, touch myself. Olaf wants to take the smallest knoll. Okay. And he wants to disembowel one of the other gnolls. Okay. And he wants to use the disemboweled gnolls' intestines as marionette strings. So he's going to turn one of these corpses into a marionette that he can just, like, whip out in the middle of battle and taunt people with. I'm fucking with you. No, that's I was going to say, well, here's the problem with that. I'm they're medium-class, so I, I don't know. think they're small enough for you to just... Tuck away into your ball sack to pull out in the middle of the battle. <laughs> yeah, hey, you want to pick up sack? your smegma coins? I was about to say, yeah. Let's go pick right. up the smegma <clears> coins. <throat> reacquire your 275 smegma coins. It is a very meticulous process it's of like, fitting it's, each it's one like, It's like a slugma candies in Pokemon Go at this point. It's like trying to like put a Jenga tower together. <laughs> You're just going to leave it there. Inside the shaft of my penis. Anything else you guys want to look at while you're in this fucking room? Me, did, did, we, did we already search the bodies? You did. Big, me, I want to search this. the bodies. All right. <coughs> you find some crude spears. The the fang didn't have anything but like a, a neat necklace made out of beads. And uh, the the alpha has his glaive that I will tell you does one d ten instead of like a normal. Like the glaive is pretty. You want you want to take that glaive? You That's do more. That's a d ten with one hand. But the trident. You haven't reacquired your trident yet. I want to take my trident. All right, you take your trident now. Take the glaive the as well. I'll take the glaive as well. All right, you have a glaive. If you dual right, hand that shit down. Write, write that shit down. You have most strength. I give to you. Does anyone want to roll perception on the room or anything? I do. I okay. does. Seventeen. All right. You, in the altar room, you also find <clears> several <throat> other dead bodies tucked away in like crypt-like beds, like in the walls. Think Skyrim Nord crypt, that kind of thing. I want to go search those. Olaf begins defiling the bodies. You find a very large amount of erect penises. Neat. I want to yell, "Hey, BJ! Yeah, they got some erect penises over here for you." As Olaf, that was my dad. A, a culture that prizes the penis above all <laughs> That's else. That's you too, bitch. I want to go. I've seen how you penises. work in the woods. All right, you find one of a half one. Don't oh, say roll loud. <laughs> I'll go get you the dick. <laughs> <laughs> he he can't roll for shit in battle, but he'll get a crit searching for penises. <laughs> you inspect all of them very <clears throat> luxuriously, like you're procuring a fine wine. Olaf knows his way around a sloppy end of a fuck stick. <clears throat> you find the most the most significant of all the, the penises you observe is a a rather like. Almost tripod esque halfling penis. Don't that was almost as long as his Don't leg. do the scream. Don't do the scream. Alright, Olaf is gonna move on. Okay, so yeah, you guys aren't out of this tunnel yet. What what what, what what's our eight HPs at, guys? Forty one. Thirty three. I'm back to max. <clears throat> 
Did you guys all heal after this or something? I touched myself. I touched myself. You, touch 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 yourself. Yourself. you keep track of your slots over there, you cheater. I he's, sure am. Okay. He's jerking himself off to heal. All right, so you guys exit out the room. There's the right pathway, which you guys have not gone on. The left, which you've came from, but there's also, like, left in this way. Like, to the left and then immediately another left. Down another hallway. Or you come back the way you came. Back in high school, I used to jerk them with my hands. What does that have anything to do with what I just fucking said? <coughs> no, I you sex with condoms in my hand. Yeah, uh, the first one. The the first to the left one. or yeah. to the right? Yeah. All right, you continue down the right, and you uh, look to your left, and there's a room, and then straight there's another hallway that goes right and left. Well, let's see. What do we see down the left one and the right one? You can't see yet. You can just tell it diverges. Like, you're not quite there yet. Couldn't we go out there? You can. You don't want to check the room. What's in the room? Room. I don't know. What's room. in the room? Room. 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 I want to go in the room. 20. To check the room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you totally fucked up my trap. Thanks. You find a, a knoll hiding behind a door in the room. <coughs> You mm. have initiative. You, you can you can strike since you found him so fucking easily. Roll to see if you hit him. Poison spray. Fuck. Fingers, fingers, arrows. Nine. Do I have advantage? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Eighteen. Yeah, that's much better. Poison spray. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 28. <laughs> Sorry, 26. Yeah, still. Yeah. You snuff his life out before he was even able to scare you. And upon uh, further inspection of this room, you find a large mass of treasure in a pit. Ooh. <laughs> treasure. What's in the, what, oh, what kind of treasure? You find, you know, you gotta you gotta dive into it like uh, like Scrooge. Oh, yeah. Mr. McScrooge the duck. I don't actually know his name. Grandpa Scrooge. No, it's Uncle Scrooge, isn't it? Scrooge, yeah. yeah. Bush did 9-11. Thank you. And jet fuel definitely does melt steel beams. Mm-hmm. You search it? Okay. This is my You dive down idea. into it, and it hurts because it's gold, and gold isn't a liquid, and it fucking hurts. But anyway, uh, you find <laughs> 500 gold pieces, a silver trinket. I guess I mean a stopwatch or something like that. Uh, a glass orb... And a broken dagger with a ruby in the hilt of it. I take the ruby. Fuck the dagger, I take you the ruby. You can't take the ruby out of it. Okay, I take the dagger with ruby. Okay. It's just like a hilt. Like, the, the, the it's like broken, you know? <gasps> what? Fuck, I need two lodestones. What's a lodestone? I don't fucking know. Is that know. what you get when you ejaculate a kidney stone? Uh-huh. Computing, computing, analyzing, thinking, 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 yeah. thinking. Yeah, so thinking. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take that dagger. Okay. With ruby it's a hilt. broken dagger. Dagger with ruby hilt. Mm-hmm. There's a glass orb. There's a silver trinket, and there's 500 gold pieces. I take the 500 gold pieces. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll take the trinket too. Okay. What the fuck's a trinket? Uh, I just, it's like a watch. Like, think of it like a, like a, like a, like a pocket watch. Uh huh. What time is it? It's broken. Eight what time does it say on there? Adventure time. All right, come on, guys. <clears throat> get it? Cause I got my. <laughs> he grabbed his friend. <laughs> Did you get the fandom joke? Buck, check him off. I have a job. Uh, uh, is there, was there anything else? Nope, just that glass orb. Uh, I'm gonna take the glass orb too. Can, can I shake it like a uh, like a like a snow globe? There's nothing inside of it except weird misty stuff. All right, I'll still take it. Okay, I mean, yeah. Okay, back into the room. Okay, so yeah, there's a hallway to your left and to your right. You can definitely tell there's a null on both sides. Olaf is going to throw his trident at one of them. Which one? The one on the left. You have advantage. hi -ya! If you guys didn't have dark vision, y'all would be fucked. <coughs> that was a 12, so that's going to be an 18. Let's see if you get a crit, though. 
Yeah, that's gonna be better. That's a seventeen plus the six. All so. right, let's 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 let's, let's see the three. Uh, you throwing your trident, huh? Yep. How how are we throwing the trident? What are we doing? Oh, let's just gonna pick it up and fucking whip it into the null space. Well, he's behind. He's facing the other. Okay. Oh, never mind. He's what? Well, you know, you implant your trident right in his fucking. He's dead. I don't, I don't Yay! Know. <laughs> That's my creative way of trying to describe the thing you've done like seven times now. <laughs> okay, well. Yo, okay, so as you turn down the left hallway, you can tell this was one of, like, you've already, <clears throat> like, this was a previous hallway you could have turned down already, like, from the start. So you have to your right. Yeah. yeah. You want to go the other way? All right, there's a knoll. He hasn't spotted you yet. Let's go fuck it up. How do you fuck it up? I wanna... The same way I always do it. Oh, you're gonna do it? Go for it, my dude. Unless you wanna help. I wanna help. How do you wanna help? Can I just throw a rock at it? <laughs> if he's okay with that. Are you okay with it? <laughs> uh-huh. Make just a, hold the long sword out like this. Make, make a strength. Do it. <laughs> do a vicious you, you mockery have, as you you're getting flung. You guys have read the X-Men comics, right? You know what the fastball special is? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. You're my Wolverine. <laughs> Vicious mockery as you're getting thrown. I'm the wiener, you're the bug. Get on over here and let's have fun. <laughs> that's going to be a 20. Okay, you, 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 you have succeeded. Just just overdo it. You I want you to mockery. roll double your damage. We'll just act like it's, an, like it's a crit. Okay, so I'm rolling for my longsword. Mm-hmm. Olaf okay. is going to scream a... Ooh! <laughs> He's throwing him with two hands like that. Yeah. So my damage type, my damage is the D eight. So and I rolled a seven and double fourteen. So yeah, fourteen damage. Okay. You pretty surgically plant yourself into the fucking knoll. He's still breathing, but you definitely have like your sword like in his heart. You just, gotta, you just gotta wiggle. Can I just like go? Technically, you didn't have any action. Can I just... Is he? Am I, like, standing over him now? Yeah. I just want to start going like this. <laughs> oh, you want to stir the pot? I'm making a purple stew. <laughs> oh, well. All right, I'm just going to call him dead. <laughs> he dead. He gone. <clears throat> okay, forward. Forward. You can see a light, and there's also another room on your right. Room. Room. I want to, room. I want to check for traps first. You don't get too far. Because as soon as you, like, turn to go into the room, three gnolls are just staring at you. Okay. Like they were just hanging out. Hello, sirs. Can I uh, use the restroom? They don't understand common. I just I wanna... I'm speaking in abyssal. They don't understand abyssal. Cool. I want to look at him and go, You like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> I start playing guitar. <laughs> They look at you confused before they brandish their spears. <laughs> <clears throat> Roll your initiative, you fucks! Fourteen. One. Nine. Nine. One. Fourteen. Uh, eighteen for one! Eleven for the other! Three for the other one! Okay! The, the first one, you're the only one in the doorway right now, so he's gonna fucking... He misses completely as he tries to stab you. Uh, fucking BJ, it's your turn, I'm sorry. I go up to the doorway next to Ralock. Alright, right, you've used one action. And now I use po- or, uh, the, 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 <laughs> yeah, let's do poison spray again. Is that an area effect or is it only one person? That just comes out of my hand. Okay! So does one. Uh, 17, not even including anything, so. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh-huh. Do you have liver failure? Probably. <laughs> I have liver failure. 16 damage. Oof. STDs. Yeah, he hurts, but he's still up. Okay. I'm so sick that Ow, my out. ass. Got something you want to say to me, bitch? I'm just kidding. Um, who's next? Oh, the other gnoll. The other gnoll doesn't like that you did that to him, so he's going to stab you. He <coughs> misses, because I'm assuming your bark skin still is going. Uh, uh, fucking Rowlock, it's your turn. I want to two-hand my longsword. All right, you upgraded your damage to a D10. Eight. I'll be getting close to not <sighs> having bark skin anymore. That hasn't been that long. I want to hit the one that tried to hit me. Okay. 
I didn't hit because I rolled a seven. You sure didn't. Oof. Ligma. Ligma balls. The other gnoll's going for Brian, but he misses again. Go off! It's your turn! Get your ass I'm gonna go for the, your boys! I'm gonna throw my trident at the gnoll that BJ attacked. Okay. Oh, yeah? Give me some damage, because I know that's gonna hit with your bonus. Oh, fuck yeah? Um... That's gonna be a nine. You've extinguished the flame in the fucking knoll. He falls. Hiya! Your your trident is now impaled into his into his chest, and he falls backwards. Thanks, with, Dad. With a loud thud. Thanks, Dad. He's also the one who went first. So, BJ, it's your turn again. You mm-hmm. got the one attacking Rawlock and the one attacking you. Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna do a. The one attacking me. I'm gonna do a produce flame. Okay. Uh, ten? Mm-mm. No. Try again. Mm-hmm. Nine. <laughs> you fail both times. <laughs> uh-huh. Um... Fuck. He attacks you in retaliation. No, can't get past that fucking 17. Uh, Rawlock, it's your turn. I, I want to try to two-hand that one again. Okay, let's see what happens. You got two-handed. <clears throat> Nineteen. Yes, that will work. D10, that's shit. A solid two. <laughs> With a bonus? Do I get a bonus? You should. Would it be like my proficiency bonus or, or would it be strength or what? Uh, it should be your proficiency bonus. Okay, so then it would be a solid yeah, five. Yeah, these guys don't fucking. <laughs> Oh no, it would be your strength bonus. I'm sorry. Then it would still be two. Out. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So what, four damage? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're proficient, it should be proficiency bonus. No. It's only to hit. Proficiency is the hit, strength is the damage. Oh. Additional. Anyway, that no one retaliates. As you swipe him across the... He misses. I don't even fucking care. Uh, BJ, it is your turn once more. I'm gonna Actually, no. I skipped over Olaf. I'm sorry. Olaf. Because I forgot you got a one. Olaf is going to ready that glaive. All right. Let's see what happens when you ready that glaive. And I'm going to stab the uh, the remaining gnoll. There's two gnolls. Whichever one's got the most damage on it is the one I'm going to stab. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna two hand that for a d twelve. Hey, no sneezing on my podcast. That's gonna be a nine. Fuck. Can you nine, sneeze, bitch. He's still up, but he hurts. He hurts bad. Good. He shit. hurts real, real bad. Now it's uh, BJ's turn. Uh, I'm gonna try to produce flame again. All right, let's see what happens. Thirteen. Mm, right on the money. He doesn't have a shield. <coughs> Fifteen. He's still up, but he hurts very much. I do it again. And you like lit his like entire arm on fire. He looks like Dumbledore when he died in Harry Potter. Spoilers. <gasps> anyway, I got a good idea for my next time, but that's next time. Produce flame again. Nope. Ten. Nope. You missed your second time. He learned. He backed up. Uh. And in retaliation for lighting his favorite arm on fire, he stabs you and definitely hits you. You take five damage from his spear right in your fucking dick. <clears throat> like he aimed low on purpose. Fuck, it's your turn. Two-handed longsword again. Okay. Hey, Sound oh. enthusiastic about it, goddammit. I can't talk. <laughs> A solid 14 plus proficiency bonus. Maybe that 17. Nah, <clears throat> good. Will I roll higher than a 2 this time? Let's find out. No, I rolled, rolled lower. It's a 1. <laughs> so, 3 overall? Yeah. You need to get better at that. Yeah. Alright, well, fucking shit. Uh, the, the, that no order you want. Okay, so listen. Brian, the null that... No, wait. Rawlock, the null that you're attacking. He misses with his spear. 
It's Olaf Olafson's turn. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> Could be a ten. You missed. BJ! Kinky. Alright, so I'm actually gonna do two attacks at once. I'm gonna go. You wanna do that? So I'm gonna make you have disadvantage if you do that. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna use poison spray. On the one in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Eight. <laughs> Seventeen. Yep. <sighs> Revolting. Seventeen damage. Death. Immediately. He falls to the ground. Your 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 chloroform from Macy's is enough to silence his his flame. Now we're going to Sephora and I'm gonna try the other one. Okay. Let's see if your Sephora chloroform works. No, it does not. Okay, Sephora is clearly the worst brand. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, what I would you like to do? I haven't learned that I'm just bad with swords, so I'm going to use a sword again. All right, let's see what happens. A solid 17 that plus works, proficiency man. gives me an unnatural. 20. Maybe it's because I was thinking of the wrong sword. It's actually <laughs> Pandora. Use the other dice. Obviously, it was the dice because this time I rolled a six on damage. You cleave it right in half. Yeet. I want to dab like you, like, over like you were, you were, you were just <coughs> you, you, you swipe him the first time on the left side, swipe him the second time on the right time, and then this last time you just cleaved him right in half. As he's as he's falling, I just want to go dab. All right. There's nothing in this room. They were just hanging out. Nuts. I wanted to viciously mock one of them. Nuts. So there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Or the land of this hallway. Olaf retrieves his trident and, and charges at the light. Uh, All right, <coughs> you you exit. I'm gonna go towards the light. Okay. We're I all, follow. We're all dying. Yep. <laughs> uh, you guys step out, and there's lots of fresh air, and you guys are super excited that you're not in the the smelly hyena pit anymore. We got the secret tunnel. tunnel. You got through the tunnel. This one wasn't secret so secret, tunnel. though. Congratulations. But I think this is a good place to stop. This, bum, bum, this was fun. Bum. These are my bum, best friends. Bum, bum, bum. Good old Null Dungeon. <laughs> you guys have any closing thoughts? Secret tunnel. Uh -oh. Secret tunnel. Does somebody want to give me a new voice? Through the mountain secret tunnel. Like from robots, you just put in a new voice box? Yeah. I just want to like... I have some closing thoughts. It takes three liters of water to produce one liter of bottled Fuck water. Fuck off, student union. Over twice as much water is used in production than what is sold in the bottle. On average, only 10% of plastic bottles are recycled. The rest go to landfills or litter our environment. 50% of bottled water is just repackaged tap water. Bottling water produces 2.5 million tons of CO2 annually. UIS Student Union. I don't know who that is. I have a thought. <laughs> uh, Mark Zuck, if you're listening to this, I want that Zuck. And my college tuition paid off, please. I don't want the tuition paid off, I just want the Zuck. Alright. Well, thank you for joining us. I hope this was enlightening, at the very least. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye! Bye! Oh, say bye! Bye.